Why can't we digest corn? Corn is a widely consumed food staple, enjoyed in many forms such as on the cob, popped into popcorn, ground into cornmeal, or processed into cornstarch and syrups. Yet, there's a common observation among people who eat corn. The kernels often appear to pass through the digestive system undigested, making it seem like corn is not broken down effectively by the human body. This has led to the popular notion that humans cannot digest corn. To understand why corn can be difficult for humans to digest, it's essential to look at the structure of a corn kernel. A kernel of corn is composed of several layers, the outer hull, the endosperm, the germ, and the pericarp, the outermost layer of the kernel. Each of these layers has distinct roles in protecting the seed and supporting plant growth, but they also pose different challenges to the human digestive system. The most notable part of the kernel that humans struggle to digest is the pericarp, also known as the hull or bran. This tough outer layer is made primarily of cellulose, a type of complex carbohydrate that forms the cell walls of plants. Cellulose is designed to protect the seed from damage, desiccation, and disease, making it extremely durable. Unfortunately for humans, we lack the enzyme cellulase, which is necessary to break down cellulose. As a result, the pericarp of the corn passes through the digestive system largely intact, leading to the familiar sight of undigested corn in stool. The issue with cellulose goes beyond just corn. Humans are generally unable to digest cellulose, which is found in the cell walls of all plants. The human digestive system is equipped with enzymes like amylase and lipase that break down starches and fats, but we don't produce cellulase, the enzyme that can hydrolyze the beta-glycosidic bonds in cellulose. This enzyme is found in some bacteria, fungi, and herbivores like cows and termites, which have symbiotic microorganisms in their digestive systems that allow them to process cellulose. In humans, however, cellulose functions as dietary fiber. Although it is not broken down and absorbed as a nutrient, it plays a crucial role in digestion by adding bulk to stool and aiding in the regular movement of the digestive system. The fibrous content of cellulose helps promote gut motility, contributing to a healthy digestive process. Therefore, while we don't digest cellulose in the traditional sense, it still serves an important physiological function. Not all of the corn kernel is indigestible. The endosperm, which makes up the bulk of the kernel, consists mostly of starch. Starch is a polysaccharide, a type of carbohydrate that humans can digest. When we chew and swallow corn, the digestive process begins with enzymes in the mouth, salivary amylase, which start to break down the starch into simpler sugars. Once in the stomach and small intestine, other enzymes, including pancreatic amylase, continue this breakdown. As a result, most of the starch in corn is digested and absorbed by the body, providing energy. Despite our ability to digest the starches, oils, and proteins in corn, the pericarp often remains intact as it passes through the digestive system. This can give the impression that corn is not being digested at all. The visible kernel in the stool is primarily the cellulose-based pericarp, which acts as a protective coating. Inside this shell, the digestible contents of the kernel, starch, protein, and fats have likely been broken down and absorbed. However, because the outer shell is indigestible, it remains whole as it exits the body, carrying the undigested remnants with it. Chewing plays an essential role in breaking down the tough outer layer of the corn. When corn is not chewed thoroughly, the intact pericarp is more likely to pass through the digestive tract without being broken down. In contrast, if the corn is chewed more thoroughly, more of the digestible contents are released and the pericarp may be broken down enough that it's less visible in the stool. This underscores the importance of proper mastication, especially when eating fibrous plant foods like corn. Corn is not the only food that contains indigestible components. Many other plant-based foods, such as whole grains, nuts, seeds, and leafy greens, contain cellulose and other forms of dietary fiber that the human body cannot digest. Just as with corn, these foods pass through the digestive system, contributing to stool bulk but not being broken down into absorbable nutrients.
The dietary fiber in these foods has well-documented health benefits, including promoting regular bowel movements, supporting gut health by feeding beneficial bacteria, and helping to control blood sugar levels by slowing the absorption of carbohydrates. However, the indigestibility of certain food components is not unique to plants. For example, certain proteins, such as those found in some animal products, can be challenging for the digestive system to break down completely. In this way, the body's inability to fully digest food is not limited to cellulose-based structures in plants like corn, but extends to other complex molecules across different food groups. The fact that humans can't fully digest corn or cellulose doesn't mean it lacks nutritional or cultural value. Throughout history, humans have developed methods to make corn more digestible. For example, nixtamalization, an ancient process used in Mesoamerican cultures, involves soaking and cooking corn in an alkaline solution, such as lime water. This process not only makes corn easier to grind into flour but also breaks down some of the tough pericup and releases more of the kernel's nutrients, particularly niacin, vitamin B3, which is otherwise bound in the corn and unavailable for absorption. The evolutionary aspect of this is also worth noting. Humans have evolved to consume a wide variety of foods, but we've never developed the capacity to break down cellulose because it wasn't essential for our survival. Herbivorous animals that rely on cellulose-rich diets have evolved highly specialized digestive systems, such as the multi-chambered stomachs of cows, to break down plant cell walls. Humans, on the other hand, evolved to be omnivores, relying on a mixed diet of plants and animals, which made the development of cellulose-digesting enzymes unnecessary. In summary, humans cannot fully digest corn due to the presence of cellulose in the outer shell of the corn kernel. While the undigested appearance of corn in stool may suggest that the body is unable to process it, this is primarily due to the indigestibility of the pericarp. Despite its indigestible parts, corn remains an important dietary staple for people worldwide, contributing to nutrition in various forms and through cultural practices like nixtamalization. <laughs>